Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on MQTT. So, like in the last video, we have already seen that how you control the AC home appliances with the load MCU using the MQTT protocol. So basically, this is what we did in the last video. And to control this, we actually use one application which we downloaded from the internet or you can say from the Play Store. So why I'm telling this in today's video is the reason is that in our today's video, we are actually going to create our own customized application or in fact, you can say we are going to create our own customized MQTT application to control our home appliances. And for that, we're going to use an online platform that is called as MIT App Inventor. So we'll be using the MIT App Inventor to create our own MIT application or uh, you can say our own MQTT application, which we will use to control our home appliances. So why do we need this, right? So we'll learn everything about that in our today's video. So let's not waste much time on introduction. Let's straight forward, go to the project and let's understand how do you create your own Android application using the MIT app inventor. In fact, with the very less coding, right? So this is all that we're going to do. So let's get started. So guys, uh, this is a code from our previous video where we actually control the four AC appliances, which were the four bulbs. And uh, along with that, we were also able to see the uh, temperature and humidity values. So basically, this is a complete code for that. But in a today's video, uh, basically, we are going to uh, divide our application part into two parts, basically. In today's video, we'll actually uh, create four buttons which will control your home appliances. And in the next video, I'll show you that how do you take the temperature and humidity values from your Node MCU and uh, you further uh, display it onto your application which we will create, right? So basically, we're gonna divide it into two parts. So in today's video, we're gonna create four buttons which, uh, which will be used to control the AC appliances. So the code will remain the same. So that's the reason we don't have to make any further changes to that. You can leave that thing aside for now, but because we already have done uh, the, uh, this thing in our last video. So you can check that uh, directly. But if you haven't watched that video, don't worry. I'll attach a link in the description or I'll attach the link with this video as well so that you can directly uh, jump to that and you can see that. But I'll simply recommend you just watch that video first so that you will understand the things better, right? So now let's continue with the uh, creation of your application using MIT App Inventor. But before uh, jumping over there, let me uh, recall you what topics we are using. Basically, this is the topic which is used for publishing, basically for publishing the temperature and humidity data, which we will not require today. And the second one uh, is your uh, second topic, which is device slash LED. So this is your second topic. So basically this is what we are actually going to use in today's session, right? Now we can jump to the MQTT uh, application, which we will create using MIT App Inventor. So let me jump over there. But uh, just remember, these are the two topics which we will require over there, right? So let me jump over there. So for that, uh, just open your browser. And in the browser, just search for MIT App Inventor, right? So just search for that. So over here, you can see the website is opened and in this, uh, it is giving you multiple things. It is giving you or showing you multiple things. And uh, for that, you can start creating your account if you haven't created ever. But if you already have an account, you can directly create the application like uh, clicking on this button, right? If you are new, then also you can click. If you are already using uh, or having an account on MIT App Inventor, then also you can use this, right? So I'll click on create apps and it will take me inside. But before taking you inside, it will ask you to log in. So for logging in, you can use your Gmail account. So like in my case, I have my account, which I already use for this. So I'll simply click on, you know, uh, this innovate yourself, which I use and uh, I'll be logged in over there. Right. All right. So now here you can see that I have multiple projects already created. So one project is already open. 
so i'll simply go to my projects again so that i can create a fresh project just to demonstrate you and explain you everything in a clear way right so this is the like uh, page where you can see all your projects that you have created if you are new you may not be having any of the project but if you already have an account previously then you must be having few projects which you have already created right like i have right so let me create a new project and for that you can simply click on this start new project just click on that and over here it will ask you to create or write a name for your project so i'll write a name as mqtt uh, control right i hope it's not the name that i've already used uh, okay yeah i don't have the name with this right so i'll give it a name as mi uh, mqtt uh, control so just click on okay so it will start creating a project for you and once it is created it will open it uh, like this right so now you can see this complete screen is divided into four sections one is this palettes viewer components and properties before starting let me explain you a bit about uh, all of these so that you can have a clear understanding for this so inside the palette you will get all the buttons and widgets whatever you want so you can get everything over here buttons check buttons date picker everything whatever you want you can get in here right and uh, secondly this is the viewer section where you will actually create your front end of your application like how your application will look like once uh, everything is done once you will start using it right so this is the front end for that for your application right this is the component section under which you will see like uh, how your uh, like uh, what's the structure or uh, what's the uh, like way how you have added your widgets inside the front end right so basically uh, you will understand it better once we start adding the uh, widgets inside uh, this viewer area right similarly the property section under this property section what we will do is we will simply customize or will make changes or modify uh, any of your widgets or uh, whatever you add over here right so whatever widgets you will add you will simply make changes to the properties of that under this property section when you will click that if you haven't clicked that or uh, if you haven't selected any of the widget over here then it will not be showed up but otherwise it will simply show up according to the widgets that you will add right and similarly here uh, one more area we have which is just to upload the media media like uh, adding the videos or images whichever you want to display onto your front end right like in our video also we'll also use that right so basically this is that and uh, yeah i hope you have understood this and uh, other than that like over here on the top right side you can see there are two blocks which are written over here one is designer which is already selected one is blocks when i'll click on this it will take you inside here where you will actually create your logics basically you will create a logic for creating your front end application right or let's say what functionality your front end widgets will uh, do when you will click them uh, click them or when you will select them right so basically this is uh, that area for it right so i'll go back to designer and over here i'll start adding the widgets which i want to show right so firstly uh, i'll add up a label in which i can simply show like uh, a uh, title like uh, what is this application all about like that similarly after that i'll start adding up the buttons but just because i want to add up the button in a bit different way so that's the reason i'll put it inside the uh, arrangement right arrangement is used just because if i'll not use the arrangement then i will not be able to align them properly basically so let me show you that basically i'm not going to use button in our today's case i'll simply use an image and i'll simply use one label which i'll be showing in front of that but as you can see when i am uh, dragging it so you can see it's not uh, going in front of that it's going either up or it's going down right so it, this is how it's happening so that's the reason uh, i cannot uh, put it like this so you can see inside the components i have whatever widgets i have added but uh, currently as you can see that uh, i'm not able to align it like this so that's why i'm deleting it right so to align them to align them in a horizontal way so i'll go to layout over here so i'll simply put the horizontal arrangement inside which uh, i'll put it now i'll go back in user interface i'll add the image over here similarly i'll add the label as well so i'll simply put it inside right now you can see both are in front so this is the way how i can use this right 
so uh, now in the similar way just because we have to do it for four buttons so in the similar way i have to do it so let me do it quickly for all the four other things as well so let me do it all right so i have added four of them right so i can rename them basically firstly i want to rename this one label so for that i have selected this and under the properties you can see it is giving you the option related to the label right so inside this uh, you can change the font size i can change the font size to let's say 25 right so you can see size is changed similarly i can also change the color oh sorry this is background uh, where is the color uh, Okay, before that, let's uh, change the text as well. It's uh, MQTT automation. Basically, we're going to automate the appliances, right? And we'll align it inside the center, but uh, it's for not going to happen. So for that, I'll also do one thing inside the widget. I'll put it like uh, for width, fill parent so that it will be like aligned according to the application right so this is how we have it now we can go in here for this text color and select the color for this i'm giving it as uh, mqtt automation for blue color i can also set it as bold right so in this way i can do it similarly just write the names for this as well right instead of writing the names like for led1 led2 or something i'll simply uh, put up uh, the bulbs for this right so that you can identify it right so i'll simply give it either on or off now uh, i have given it and also we can uh, do one thing we can simply uh, rename it or you can say we can simply resize it right so let me resize it to 20 and select it as font bold so that it will be bold and one more thing is we have added the image and for adding the image we have to add the images or we have to select the image for this right over here you can see it is asking you to select the picture for this but you can see there is no image so basically we have to upload that so for that i'll upload the media over here you can upload it here as well but uh, this time just because we have four images so i'll simply add that so i'll go in upload file and i'll choose file and uh, i have it inside the downloads i have a directory with this name so i'll simply select that so just because all of them are bulb so i'll simply select bulb only right so once it is uploaded you can select that right so this is the bulb now i can select this and i can change it change the picture to bulb so you can see the size is quite big right so we have to adjust that and for that we have to select it and inside this just select the pixels basically so for this let's uh, select it as 50 i hope it's fine yeah fine same thing for this 50 uh, this looks quite small so let me adjust it a little bit more let's see whether 100 is fine uh, yeah 100 for this and uh, by width i can put it 70 right i think this will be better right same thing i'll do for this all right so i have done this and now one more thing you can see like uh, the widgets are okay but the thing is when i'm scrolling it down my widgets are like hidden over here so maybe it's like i'll not be able to click on that right so in that case what i have to do is i simply have to click on screen because this entire thing is inside screen one so i'll go in here and over here i can simply go down and uh, there is an option with the name scrollable just click on that right now just scroll it right so you can see you're able to scroll it and you can accordingly adjust it and just because this is not the it so we have to add one more button over here right so i simply have to add one button as well right so let me put it as a button button will be over here right so just uh, write the name over here let's put a text and that will be 
connect right basically this is a button which you will be using to connect to the mqtt server right so i'll give it as 25 uh, let's put it as 20 only right okay and one more thing you can see that uh, the widgets are okay but uh, i want to align them in the center right and one more thing this off is also looking like quite it is going the superscript thing right so let's make it uh, quite uh, aligned properly right let's go in like this same thing for all of them so i'll go in here and i'm aligning it like center right so this is the way how i can do it right so in this way i have done it and one more thing i want to do is i just want to change it i just want to put it inside the center so let's say if i'll try to put it in the center so nothing is happening just because it's just a separate horizontal view right so i want to change it and for that i need an arrangement or you can say a layout which is your vertical arrangement so i'll need one vertical arrangement right so i'll put all of them inside this right i'll align them inside okay so now what i can do is i can simply uh, use this main one vertical arrangement and i can give it fill parent like this and uh, i can align them align them to the center okay this one horizontally align them to the center right so this is inside the center and the button is also over there right so this is how we have it and uh, the background looks quite not okay so i'll put it as white same thing i'll do for all of them so that it looks quite attractive and good right so i'll select the background color is none so that it will be looking white right I can give it a different color, let's say not blue. Okay, so I think this is better now and uh, we have made a front end looking quite good, right? And over here at the end, I'll add one more thing and that is just to showcase that this is my channel. So I'll add one more thing and that is my channel name uh, or let's say channel logo. So I'll put one more thing, the image over here, right? Right. So this is how we have done it and uh, we are done with this. Now our front end is ready, right? So what next we have to do is we have to add up the functionality. But one more thing is there that uh, currently what I want to do is I want to use these images as a button so basically this images should be click clickable so if i'll click on this it should be uh, able to like generate some output right so i'll simply click on this and i'll simply uh, should be getting some uh, result and that is to turn on the ac appliances or turn off the ac appliances and to make it clickable you can see there is an option called clickable when i selected image so i'll just click on this same thing i'll do for rest of it and i'll make it clickable right so i have it for all of them right clickable and clickable so all of them are clickable and whenever i click on this button it should simply uh, change the status of this which is off and it should be turned to on or again off when i'll click it again right so this is what i'll be doing right so this is how we have it now the next thing is that we have to actually start adding the functionality of mqtt but just because uh, over here you can see that inside the connectivity we don't have anything related to mqtt or something so basically we have to add that thing into uh, this application and for that there is one more thing which is called as extension and you can import the extension if you want just because mqtt uh, like uh, uh, extension is not available inbuilt in mqtt uh, or let's say mit app inventor so basically we have to download it separately and then we have to add it here right for that just uh, go in here and simply search for mqtt extension mit app inventor right so it will simply give you the link so just to uh, go to this link right and uh, over here just search for this one right 
simply scroll down and just download this one right so you need this one so over here you can see it has given you something which is like your ai2 paho just open that and inside that you will get this dot aix file so basically you have to import this one so basically where you have to import it uh, let me show you that so for that just go back in here into the extension it is asking you to import extension just click on this and now just to uh, open that one or is it this one just drag and drop it right so it's uh, over here just import on it right so wait for it it will be loaded yeah you can see it is loaded over here right so basically now we have loaded that now what we can do is we can actually start adding the application for all the images that we have added so that whenever i'll click on that it should be able to perform some task and that is to turn on the light or to turn off the light right so this is what we are going to do and for that you have to first of all add it here just click over here or you can just add it over here you can see non visible component it is because it is having a back end functionality so we have added that now once this is added now what we can do is we can jump to the blocks and inside the blocks we actually need to uh, start writing or you can say start uh, pulling this code or pulling this logic right so for that what you have to do is you simply have to scroll in here and uh, we have already added a button over here basically what we are going to do with this button is that first of all once you have this button thing you just need to click on that right so basically we have to make a connection with your mqtt broker once you have the connection with your mqtt broker then only you will be able to further control the appliances right so basically your first task is to control or to let's say to have a connection with your mqtt broker and one more thing is there that here you when you have added this on the right side under the property section it is asking you for the information related to your broker if you have certification file you can add that you can client you can add that you can add the password you can also add the port number port number is already there you don't have to add it so basically currently just because we are using the very basic or let's say very uh, minimal uh, security feature for your broker so that's why we just have to add the broker thing and you know what is the broker so basically your broker is that test.mosquito.org right so you can simply copy it and uh, add it here right and over here client id if you want you can give it otherwise you can leave it because it's going to take it randomly and rest of the things we haven't added so we will not make any modifications to that but you can make the modifications according to your requirement whatever requirement you have in your project so you can do that now we have done that now we can go back and we can start creating the application right so over here what you need to do is you need to first of all click on the button so basically when you will click on the button and that is the connect button what's going to happen is if you are already connected first of all it should not be connected right if it is already connected it will disconnect that and if it is already disconnected you will start connecting to that so this is what's going to happen and for that we need to take out a block and that block will be inside this yours paho mqtt client and uh, for that we will simply say when button is clicked so basically it's a functionality for button so before going for this we have to go to the button and that button is this one so when button is click what we are going to do we are simply going to put up a condition and that condition is uh, if then else just click on this and here the condition is that you have to check that whether your mqtt broker is connected or not right so basically for that uh, you will scroll down and you will get that yeah this one if this is connected if this is connected what we have to do is we have to simply disconnect it and the same thing you will get in here now scroll up disconnect is over here on the top this one just simply call that disconnect it right because what we are actually going to do is when we will click on the button it should change the status as well right if it is connect 
then when we'll click on that once it is connected it should change the status to disconnect so that when i'll click on disconnect it should disconnect so this is uh, the functionality that we're gonna get right now inside the else if it is not connected then what it should do it should simply go in here and it should simply connect and it will clean the session right so for that we have in here yeah this one i'm going to take connect and clean the session so clean session we're gonna set up the uh, value as true because we want to clean it and the values in here true so this is what we have done uh, or let's say this is the functionality that we have added if the button is clicked right so basically this is what's gonna happen and now one more thing is there basically this is just to show like what to do whether to connect or to disconnect based on the connection now second thing is what to do when it is connected or disconnected because as i said the status or the message will also change from connect to disconnect and disconnect to connect this is what's going to happen and for that i'll add one more thing and over here for that you will go in this and now when this connection state change when the connection state is changed what to do right now we'll have another conditions over here so I'll put up the condition if this then this now the condition is if this is connected again this one that if this is connected is connected if it is connected then what it should do it should simply display or you can say it should simply change the status right change the status to disconnect so I'll simply set up set button text to because we are changing a text of a button over here right so we're gonna do that right text to go to text no not text oh yeah text only over here i'll take it and i'll put it here and the text will be disconnect by default it's connect so i'll change it to disconnect right disconnect now similarly uh, it will do one more thing that it will subscribe to the topic as well uh, but uh, that is completely optional for now because we are not using the tamp data right but if you want you can set that value as well or you can say you can set the initial value and the quality of service as well so we can set that uh, so if you want you can do it otherwise you can leave it for now it's not a problem right and second is else uh, and inside the else what it will do if this is the case i'll simply copy and paste it and i'll simply change it to connect right because it's the opposite of that right so this is uh, what's gonna happen when the button is clicked or when the button is again clicked right so this is what's gonna happen now this is the functionality of your button basically this button connect button when it is connected or when it is clicked right when it is clicked it will be connected to the network or disconnected from the network and also the status will be changed for that right so this is what is going to happen now the next thing is what will happen when you will click the images because we have make our images clickable so we want to add the functionality to that right so firstly let me add for the first image which is the first one so what i want to do is i simply want to put up a condition or let's say we just want to check that whether we are first of all connected or not because our main requirement is that we should be able to control the appliances when we are already connected to the network if you're not connected to the network it should not function it should not like uh, execute any functionality right so this is what we want so for that we will put up the condition and the conditions is gonna come from here if and else if it is connected let me copy from here only copy and paste i'll simply put it here that it is connected and also if it is connected there is another condition uh, that we also have to change the text of this off to on and on to off this is also we have to do so that's why i'm gonna put another condition over here and that is this and in here we are gonna check or uh, let's say we're gonna see like uh, what label value we have for this so for that we're gonna check for label two first of all so what's the label text uh, 
okay we will take this one we'll change the parameter and uh, just because we wanna compare this so we also need a comparison uh, operator over here and that's gonna come from here mm, but it's a comparison right uh, this one we want because we want to compare the strings so first is this one and it will be the text and the text will be coming from here if the text is off in that case what it should do right so now we're gonna publish the value here because when the button will be clicked simply what we are gonna do we're gonna publish the value so that we can control the appliances according to the value that we are gonna publish right so we're gonna publish that and uh, for publishing we are simply gonna go in here use a uh, usr uh paho mqtd and in here we're gonna call uh where is it this one that we're gonna publish it and uh, what is the topic and what is the message for that right so that's gonna come from here uh, here what's the topic and uh, what's the value for that right so the topic is as we discussed device slash led and the value for that will be one basically right because if it is off uh, that means the state is off right so we want to turn it on right so this is the value that we're gonna pass according to that right so if in your case it's the opposite case you can put that right it's not a problem and also we're gonna change the text of your label so just select this one and set the label set the label text to on right so this is how basically what we have done we have simply changed okay it's not changed okay so this is how we have basically changed the values now the similarly we are gonna do the opposite case and opposite case is gonna come from here only so i'll simply copy and paste it because the values are gonna change rest all the things are gonna be the same right same thing for this copy and paste and i'll change the value to off right so this is the way like how actually we are gonna get this thing happen right so this is for the one button now the same thing we have to do for the others also right but uh, before that uh, let me put the else part as well because this is the case when it is connected but if it is not connected what we have to do in that case in that case we want to pass on or let's say a uh, kind of a message in front end uh, just to show that you are not connected to the network so you have to connect it again right and for that i have to go to designer because uh, i'm not gonna add any label for this instead i'm gonna pass up a notifier yeah notifier i'll simply add it in this and it's a non-visible component again right so i'll go back to the blocks and over here I'll simply go to notifier and I will call notifier one with a notice right now inside this will pass up a message and that message will be that you are not connected to network or not connected to MQTT broker let's say not connected to mqtd broker right so this is the way like how we have added up the functionality for our first button or let's say the first image which we have uh, to control our first bulb right so this is for the one similarly we have three more buttons so or let's say three more images which we are gonna use as a button to control that so let me do the same thing for all of them as well right so let me do it quickly for you
all right so as you can see guys that i have uh, like created all the four buttons as well as i have also added the functionality for all of them right and just because uh, the values are gonna be the different for the same topic so that's why i have just changed the value according to that and uh, that's why like now you can see i have uh, the same thing for all of them right so in this way what we have done is we have simply completed our functionality as well right so this is all about that now the next thing is that we have to simply convert this to a normal application right so for that let's go to the designer again and uh, over here we have to convert this application uh, into a an android application and uh, we know like how to do that and one more thing uh, if you are unable to understand anything in this and if you want this complete project uh, like uh, from my side to you so don't worry i'll add the link in the description for this project so i'll add that project you can directly download the aia file right so that i'll sh uh, show you like uh, over here i can export that and uh, in dot aia format i can export it and with this you can directly import your project to your mqtd application or mqtd account and it will directly load it just the way i have it right so i'll uh, add it in the description you can download it from there and also now just because my application is complete now the next thing is that i have to convert it to an android application so i'll simply go to build and I'll click on the first option, which is Android app dot APK, right? So just click on that and your Android application will be start creating, right? So it will start creating that application. All right. So as you guys can see that uh, the application uh, or you can say the application APK file has been created. Now what I'll do is I'll simply download it or transfer it to my system or I have a second option that I can simply scan this QR code and I can directly start downloading right so I'll start doing it from my mobile phone so you can see that it is giving me this application I can directly click on this and it will start downloading it for me okay sorry my internet is not working so let me connect to the network first okay download anyway So you can see it is downloaded, right? Okay, so just click on open and install it. Now open it up. Now guys, as you can see that uh, we have an Android application ready, right? So currently, first of all, what we have to do is we have to simply click on this like connect when you will click on connect it will start connecting to the network but currently you can see like we are connected to the mqtd broker right so now after that you can start clicking on this and accordingly the state will be changed right you can see now when i'll disconnect it now you will whenever you will click on this it will give you this message not connected to mqtd broker right so finally our application is ready now what next we have to do is we simply have to check that whether this thing is working with us or not. So let's see whether this thing is uh, able to control the appliances or not. So let's see that. All right. So now let's uh, start and uh, check like whether we are able to control the appliances or not. I have opened the application which we have just created. And now let's first connect to the network which is your MQTT broker. Now we have them connected. Now all the appliances are off. Now let me turn it on. So the first one is on. Second one is on. Third one is on. Fourth one is on. Off, 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 off. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on and turn it on. So this is all the way like how we control the appliances, whatever we have in here. Now as per the application if you will notice that in one of the case we are having on and in rest of the case we are having the off. It's just because uh, the way we have written the code in the uh, like application maybe we have written the opposite right. Otherwise rest everything is working fine and as you can see we are able to control all the appliances right. So this is the way to do it. So that's all from my side for today. I hope all of you have understood like how do you create your own MQTD application using MIT App Inventor. 
so still if you are facing any difficulties in any of the topic that we have discussed today then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel and please click on the subscribe button because we need your support to grow our community and to serve you better so that's all from my side for today see you in our next video